So you're, does it upset you when you hear people say bad things about it? Absolutely. In fact, when I heard about it, that there was a website in which they, they were basically saying things about uh, Rabbi Kimmel, I went onto their website and I responded defending Rabbi Kimmel and the person who ran the w w website basically distorted my, my email and he, he took out keywords and put in and, and left out keywords which changed the whole structure of my response which and it, I was fuming so what I did was I called him and I left a message and I wanted to speak to him but he didn't get on the phone he never called me back but what he did is he posted my, my, a private co telephone conversa conversation on the web and he gave everybody on the web my, my name and my telephone number, which was absolutely wrong. It's not how a person works. I called him to correct the wrong and number one, he did two things bad. Number one, he changed my email, took out keywords, and, and which, which totally changed the character of the email and then he responded to my telephone call by posting my private number and my name on, on, on the web, which was totally, totally wrong. Well, when he changed your email, what I just want to make it clear, he took an email and, and that was very heavily defending Rabbi Kimmel. It was defend, yes, it was defending Rabbi Kimmel from, only from my experiences with him. Right. And he, t he, 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 he manipulated the, my email and he took out free keywords and, and, and he, he changed the whole email response from a positive one to, to one which was, was totally deprecating of Rabbi Kimmel. So literally it looked as if you wrote just the opposite Absolutely. of what you... Absolutely. That's why I made the phone call to him, which again, he abused. Instead of calling me, he posted my telephone number and my name on, on his website, which is, I mean, it's just disgusting. So if anybody is a fraud, that's the person who's a fraud. Well, I mean, he fraudulently took way, your if, information. If something is MS, my, my, my defense of, of Rabbi Kimmel was MS in that this is how he treated me. What he did was he took what I felt was MS and, and he, he distorted it. So obviously, he, if he was really truthful, then he would not be scared of my my retort, my email. The fact that he had to change it and distort it means there's something very, very wrong with what, who he is and what he's trying to do. Right. Well, that's obvious. I mean, he took what... Uh, it's not obvious because... Well, it's obvious to you because it's obvious to me because, to you. But no one would know that he, that he changed my whole email response. Right. If they read but I know what it. he posted of your email, they would take you as a... Uh, enemy of Rabbi right, Kimmel, which or, is not the truth. Which is which is totally so, not what. So you, any person who's who's who who uses Shekhar like that, how can we trust? How do we know what his 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 uh, you know what he wants to do? To, what his personal grudge is with Rabbi Kimmel? If he's not allowing the truth to go on as an email, then then how can you trust what he's doing?